Hi, welcome to the level 100 lesson on Oracle DataSafe. My name is Sanjay Narvekar and I'm a product manager in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. Here's a quick look at the safe harbor statement. In today's lesson, you'll get an introduction to Oracle DataSafe, find out about the different features of data safe namely security assessment user assessment data discovery data masking and activity auditing oracle data safe is a unified database security control center it gives customers a view of the activities that's happening in the database namely security what users are doing, are their accounts secure, when was the last time they changed the passwords, what kind of data is stored in the databases, and it gives customers the ability to mask the data as they are migrating their data from production to test or dev environments. And Currently, we support Oracle databases in Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Using DataSafe, customers can save time and mitigate security risks. And this gives you a defense in depth uh, for all your databases in Oracle Cloud infrastructure. You do not need any special security expertise to use Oracle DataSafe. Let's now look at security assessment. Security assessment gives you instant feedback on configurations that may introduce unnecessary risk. Security assessment looks at your Oracle database configurations your user accounts in the Oracle database and also the security controls in place and then reports findings along with recommendations for remediation activities that follow best practices to reduce or mitigate risk. Security assessment generates four reports. Comprehensive assessments which includes all findings for user accounts, privileges and roles authorization control, data encryption, fine-grained access control, auditing, and database configuration. The second one is security controls, which filters findings based on various security controls. The third one is user security, which filters findings based on users, privileges, and roles in the database. And finally, the fourth report is security configurations, which filters findings based on security related configuration details. We now look at the workflow for assessing your database security with security assessment. The first thing you want to do is register your target database in Oracle DataSafe. If your database is already registered, then you can skip this step. Uh, you start off by creating a security assessment job against your target database by using the security assessment wizard. You can assess multiple target databases at the same time and then analyze the results in the following security assessment reports. The next feature that we are going to look at is user assessment. You use user assessment to reduce user risk by managing roles and privileges as well as policies. Overprivileged users are frequently targeted by cyber attackers to leverage their extensive set of privileges to mount data attacks. This is where user assessment comes in. User assessment helps you assess the security of your database users and identifies higher risk users. This will allow administrators to apply the appropriate security controls. User assessment reviews information about your users in the data dictionaries on your target databases and then calculates a risk score for each user. For example, 
It evaluates the user types, how users are authenticated, the password policies assigned to each user, and how long it has been since each user has changed their password. With this information, you can decide whether to implement more restrictive password policies, use Oracle Database Vault, or do something to further limit user access if needed. This is a quick look at the screenshot for the user assessment tab in Oracle DataSafe. The workflow for assessing your database security with user assessment is as follows. If the target database that you want to assess is not yet registered in Oracle DataSafe, register it on the target tab. You then create a user assessment job against your target databases by using the user assessment wizard. And finally, you analyze the results in the user assessment report. In the report, you can choose to view the audit records for individual user accounts. We now look at the next feature of Oracle DataSafe, which is activity auditing. Activity auditing allows you to track user actions and streamline auditing with robust reporting. The activity auditing feature lets you audit user activity on your Oracle Cloud databases so that you can monitor database usage and be alerted of unusual database activities. You can provision audit compliance and alert policies. You can collect audit data from databases and track sensitive operations. Audit reports can be further classified into interactive reports for forensics, summary and detailed reports, PDF reports for compliance. The screenshot on the right side of the screen shows you one such audit policy where basic auditing is enabled for critical database activity login events and admin activity auditing is enabled which tracks all the admin activities also you can enable user activities for a given list of users as well as create custom policies and as well as use oracle preceded policies The general workflow for setting up activity auditing involves these main steps. You first select the targets you want to audit and then provision audit policies specifying what audit information will be collected. Finally, you create audit trails that tell DataSafe from where to collect audit information. Once this is done, DataSafe automatically retrieves audit data and stores it in the secure DataSafe repository. And this is usually separate from the database being monitored, so it cannot be deleted or altered. You can set up alerts on key events based on the predefined set of alerts available in DataSafe Activity Auditing. Interactive reports allow you to look at audit data, filter it as needed, and create scheduled reports to meet your security and compliance needs. The next feature in Oracle DataSafe is Data Discovery. This allows you to prioritize security efforts by finding the location, type, and amount of sensitive data in your Oracle databases in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Data Discovery allows you to discover and classify more than 125 sensitive types of data. You can also define user-defined sensitive types and it, you can do incremental discovery against your databases. And data discovery also supports validated fusion, SAS, and EBS templates. And it can report on the amount and type of sensitive data. The screenshot on the right shows you an example of uh, one such use case where it's reporting on the unique the sensitive types, the sensitive values, sensitive tables, and the sensitive columns from a data discovery job. 
this screenshot just shows you the various predefined sensitive types which can be further categorized into identification, biographic, IT-based, financial, healthcare, employment or academic categories. The general workflow for data discovery involves these main steps. You first register the target database in which you want to discover sensitive data and then create a data discovery job using the data discovery wizard to discover the sensitive data on the target database and generate your sensitive data model or SDM. You will then analyze your sensitive data in the target database by viewing the data discovery report. And you can manage the sensitive data model in an ongoing basis and as well as continue your data discovery process by using the sensitive data model which you have tweaked for your target database. Let's now look at data masking feature. This feature allows you to minimize sensitive data exposure for dev and test partners or analytic databases. The data masking functionality comes in very handy when you have sensitive data stored in your production databases and you have a business case where you have to keep refreshing your test and dev databases from production data. This allows you to mask data identified as sensitive. It includes 50 plus predefined masking formats it has automated format selection based upon sensitive type and optionally allows you to define user-defined masking formats. It has the functionality of allowing it to create rich masking transformations for complex cases. It also gives you a masking report of the masking operations that are run in Oracle data safe. The general workflow for data masking involves these main steps. You create a backup of your production database first. You will then clone the backup of your production database to create a stage database. Do not expose the stage database to users. Create the stage database on the Oracle cloud with the supported services. In the next step, you will register your stage database with Oracle Data Safe. Be sure to run the SQL Privileges script on your stage database beforehand. Use the data discovery wizard to discover sensitive data on the stage database and generate a sensitive data model. Create new masking formats in the library if you require masking formats other than the predefined ones. Use the data masking wizard to create a masking policy and submit a data masking job. You'll then verify the masked data by reviewing the data masking report and validating data in the masked columns. And then clone the stage database to create a test database. Once your test database is operational, you will grant your test and developer users access to your test database. In today's lesson, you learned about Oracle Data Safe, which gives customers a simplified security management for cloud databases. Oracle Data Safe complements existing infrastructure security with a single security control center for cloud databases. It is easy to use, and you can click and secure with the various features and functionality of Oracle Data Safe. Oracle Data Safe gives you immediate visibility into risks with data users and configuration. Customers can leverage the most complete set of proven database security capabilities. Thank you for watching this lesson.